Two NASA astronauts, Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore, are stuck in space till 2025. Both were Boeing Starliner crew flight test astronauts, so it was supposed to return to Earth after a week. But due to disagreements within the space agency about Starliner safety, they will not be back anytime soon. American astronauts Sunita Williams and Barry Butch Wilmore left Earth on June 6 and reached the International Space Station in 24 hours. Both were aboard a test flight of Boeing Starliner that was the first of its kind to carry people in space. A helium leak was discovered in the spacecraft service module on the day of the launch, but it was considered insignificant. As the flight made its way towards space, several other leaks in the spacecraft's propulsion system were detected by the NASA team. An internal debate has erupted within the space agency since then regarding the health of Starliner for the return flight. Although Boeing, the company behind Starliner, has insisted that there is no increased risk in bringing Williams and Wilmore back in the Starliner, NASA is contemplating getting them back on a SpaceX Dragon flight instead. It is interesting to note that back in 2014, when NASA entered into contracts for commercial crewed flights with both Boeing and SpaceX, Boeing was the front runner for the awards. Initially, Boeing got a contract worth 4.8 billion dollars, while around 3.1 billion US dollars were paid to SpaceX. Since 2014, though, Boeing has not completed a single mission with NASA. In contrast to SpaceX, which has launched around 13 crewed flights so far, Boeing has been plagued by similar scandals in the past, where the aerospace company's commercial jets have faced mechanical issues and tail strikes, which have cost the company a total of 3 billion dollars. Despite this, Boeing remains confident in Starliner's potential to bring the stranded astronauts home. But in case this does not work out, Sunny Williams and Butch Wilmore would have to wait 6 months to return home in the SpaceX Crew Dragon. If this happens, the crew will join the full-time expedition crew at the International Space Station. Before taking off, the astronaut suitcases carrying clothes were removed to make room for some equipment. Before a supply ship that arrived last week bringing clothes and foods, Williams and Wilmore had to make do with the spare clothes at the International Space Station. Normally, supply ships are packed close to the flight launch time, so astronauts have such deliveries coming in quite often. More uncrewed deliveries are expected in the coming months. The International Space Station also has its own oxygen generating mechanism in addition to a 4-month contingency oxygen supply. to ensure astronauts do not run out of air in emergency situations like this. The stranded pair has been keeping busy by helping out with mechanical issues in the station and conducting experiments. Until a decision is reached at the NASA headquarters, Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore face the possibility of spending Christmas and New Year in the 109 meters long International Space Station.